Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Health and Steeple. In the recent patch, its Ash of War Ruinous Ghost Flame received quite a nice buff, so they increased the duration, the attack power, and the poise damage of the effect from the buff. So when you do buff the weapon, it's going to last quite a lot longer, it's a little stronger as well, and it does more poise damage. As well, they shorten the time between being able to use various actions both before the activation and after the activation of the skill, so if you do buff the weapon, you can attack a little bit faster out of it now. The Ruinous Ghost Flame also, on top of adding damage to the weapon, adds Frostbite buildup, so I do plan to do-wield it since that way we'll get a lot better Frostbite buildup. Our damage output is pretty high as well with my build. We have 833 AR when they're both buffed, and if I drink my Magic Physic Flask, it jumps all the way up to 940, so landing things like jumping do-wield attacks with the Claw Talisman are going to be devastating, especially if we happen to proc a Frostbite buildup. As well, Greatswords in general received a buff to their poise damage. Now there is no way to passive poise a Greatsword, even if you're wearing the full Bullgoat set and you're wearing the Bullgoat Talisman, which gives you 133 poise. The one-handed Greatsword will still stun you. The only way to trade with it is to have decent poise and to also be using a Hyper Armor weapon. As for the scaling of the weapon, it is a primarily intelligence scaling weapon, so we do have our intelligence sitting at 50. We have our usual high health pool, so we do have 60 vigor. We have the minimum endurance needed for both the health and steeples, the armor and the talismans that I plan to showcase for today, and then we have the minimum strength and dexterity for the build. As for the choice of talisman, my first slot is my swap around talisman. I start off with the ritual shield and then I'll swap over to whatever I feel like is useful, maybe some regen. If I am fighting someone that doesn't have a high poise damaging weapon, maybe add some passive poise with the bull goat talisman. Or I could even throw on the Urtree's favor at the start of the duel if I'd like more HP. It is something I can swap off as well and use as a swap around talisman. My second slot, I have the Claw Talisman to enhance the jump attacks, which is very effective on dual wielding weapons, especially weapons like these that have such high AR when buffed. I have the Crimson Armor Medallion plus 2 for the HP boost, and then I have the Great Jars Arsenal for the Equip Load boost. As for the moveset of the weapon, the Health and Steeple is a great sword, so it's pretty straightforward. It gets all the standard great sword moveset. You have the vertical lights when two-handed, the horizontal lights when one-handed. The R2 is the slash, and not a thrust attack, sadly. I would love for it to be a thrust, but its moveset is pretty straightforward, so I'm not going to go really in-depth with it here. All they really changed was the buff to the Ash of War and buff to the poise damage of the Greatswords overall, so that's all I really have to say about the weapon. Let's just see how it performs in the duels and in the invasions. Alright, jumping into our first match, and we have Owl. <laughs> Skiro cosplay, hello there. Alright, get our buff going. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna buff both my weapons since the duration of the buff lasts longer now. Fear the Ghost Flame, Owl. Fear it. <laughs> A thousand! <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Pretty good damage. Definitely not going to knock that. I have 940 AR with the buff flask and the buffs on the greatsword. Alright. Moving on to our next opponent, we have the one true king. Hello there. Oh, nice. Okay. Going with a roar buff. I like it. I'm going all magic buff here. You might want to join. Alright. Because I do hit really hard. <laughs> I know Colossals also hit hard, but... <laughs> my 926 be damaging. And the Frostbite buildup of both of us. <laughs> I like how we were just face trading there, expecting to win the fight. Both of us. Oh, good crouch poke. I'm going to go for a follow-up, and I'm going to go for a backstab. <laughs> Very fun fight, one true king. We both kind of played like a tank there, just trading blows. Our next opponent is Wumskabums. Hello there. Wielding what looks like a great axe. Get our buff going here. Uh, our triple buff. Yes, now I'm the triple buffer, but you know, it's kind of worth it. I do pretty good damage. <laughs> it also looks really good aesthetically. Oh! 1200 on the jump attack. I did throw on the claw talisman, of course, but very fun fight, man. <laughs> I wanted to test that out. Here comes our next opponent. We have Lambie. Hello, Lambie. Wielding what looks like a faith build to an extent. I see an incantation in the offhand. And I'm not sure what's in your right hand. A straight sword? I'm ready. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Testing out some of the incantations. Where... Where'd they go? I didn't even see the, the actual claws. Oh, that was the rock. Okay, I'll take off my talisman. What do I want to put on then? He has a straight sword. Having a little bit more poise to tank would be nice. Apparently not enough though for that. <laughs> okay, 900. I don't know how the frostbite buildup is going right now. We got to see that. 
He did pop his bubble tier there with another 900 damage. <laughs> Honestly, these things are very damaging, and the buff lasts a really long time now. Works very well. <laughs> I know, I'm kind of just attacking and hoping. He walks into it. Getting the finish for the Great Sword when someone's scared of it, you kind of have to, like, roll catch really well. I can do it with the one-handed R1, but for some reason I got a backstab attempt. <laughs> Very fun fight, though, Lambie. Hey, and the buff wore off right then. I don't know how long that was, but that was a lot longer than it used to be. Moving on to our next opponent, we have Jane Elden Ring. Hello there. <laughs> Wielding the Godslayer Greatsword, it seems. All right, so let me prepare myself, Jane. All right, I'm ready. Looks like you have... Okay, so you have the Black Flame Incantations. I'm going for like a, a build here. I like it, like a theme. Oh, cool, cool. Um, <laughs> try to hide that away. When we miss each other. <laughs> Gotta land one of these really damaging <laughs> jumping out ones. Yeah, that's... Uh, I almost attacked into that. Close. Ah, uh, the frostbite on the roll catch. Very fun fight, Jane. Wow, though, a jumping L1 with these buffed does immense damage. Heading into our final battle, we have Newt Newt with his axe. Hello there, Newt Newt. Get your buff going. I, too, have some buffs of the actual weapon variety. <laughs> I'm ready, Newt Newt. Oh god. That seems a little bit packet lossy, but it's okay. We did get some frostbite build up there. Oh, interesting. A spinning slash. Okay. Woo. Mixing up the R1 speeds with the... Uh... Oh, the frostbite must have been very close then. Haha. <laughs> Probably won't get a backstab, but that'll be the attempt. Oh, 800 from the dual wheel attack. Very fun fight, though, Newt Newt. All right, now let's just see how these perform in the invasions. All right, jumping into our first invasion, and we are in the Moonlight Altar. Hello there. We've invaded Link? Wait. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. Hey, hey Link. What? <laughs> what are the odds of this? You are the proper Link, I believe. <laughs> Seems that way. Um. <laughs> oh, great dodge. Dodge that. I don't know why my rings are unorganized right now. Bam! Okay. We kind of both have similar builds here. Oh, but mine does so much damage. Very fun fight, Link. <laughs> Amazing that I seen you randomly in the first invasion. Moving into our next invasion, we are now in Kaled. And we've invaded Daemon. Two lone hosts, huh? I guess this is becoming more common. Hello there, Daemon. How are you, man? Let me get my buffs here. You have the Monk's Flame Mace. Interesting. I have the Ice Flame. <laughs> I don't know if that was a good trade for our boy Damon here. Oh, I thought it was going to Hyper Armor trade. Accidentally queued that other L1. Ooh, some bleed. The Blood Explosion. Oh, the Jump Attack and the Frostbite. Yeah. That was doing a lot of damage, regardless. <laughs> Very fun fight, though, man. Ooh, now we're in a cave, the War Dead Catacombs. All right, usually cave invasions are not solo hosts, so I have I have high hopes. I hear fighting going on below. Uh oh, no! I dropped down and they're up top. Did you guys continue on with your war? I think a phantom's gonna die before I get there. Looks like he's out of heals. <laughs> he's slightly healing. Cause he has some regen on. Where the heck are they? 
I could use the warp finger, I suppose. Oh no, right there. <clears throat> Hello, guys. Hello. I'm just gonna jump both of you to kill the phantom. Yeah, that was a good plan. <laughs> I love that they just sat and watched. What the heck? Hunter, you're supposed to be ravenous at me. I don't know why you just let that happen. <laughs> well, sir, you're out of FP. This is weird. Oh, he's got blood on step. Oh, I'll just... I'll be standing here. I block your path. I'll wait for another blue. This feels like we could have more fun if we do that. Hello there, blue. Endwalker, huh? <laughs> I see. Quick step. These hit really hard, just so you know. <laughs> Quite hard. <laughs> this is an endless cycle, man. <laughs> it's just gonna, it's gonna keep doing more and more damage. It out heals your Estus, and then the host died. <laughs> well, that was an interesting invasion. At least it wasn't a solo host. Jumping into the final invasion, and we are in the Altus Tunnel. And I'm about to surprise Tez there. Excuse me while I just buff up in this tunnel. Hello. I'm doing a lot of buffs here. Hello, Tez. Tez, you have no health. Why would you keep swinging? <laughs> You're crazy, Tez. Where's your host? Hello? Hello? You went down a tree to go up a tree? Confused. Hello? <laughs> oh, oh, okay, I did not expect you to have no HP. Well, this is an interesting spot to invade. Alright, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the health and steeple. I hope everyone enjoyed the revisit to the weapon. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I wore, the talismans that I utilized throughout the showcase, and of course, keep commenting your weapon recommendations below. Like I've said in other videos, if I have used the weapon in the showcase, that's fine. As long as it's got a decent change from a recent patch, I will revisit it. A lot of them have changed pretty substantially, so I'm going to be doing the same for some of them. But yeah, until the next video, I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye, goodbye, and thanks for watching.